Next generation more than any other is poised to be a brawl between Microsoft's Xbox and Sony's PlayStation 5. The masses expect a true, generational leap with much more power and since both teams have a lot more games in the pipeline, it all comes down to which is more powerful. The PS5 has the advantage, but not for long. You've seen this, it's from the massively popular Raids Shadow Legends mobile game, a new sponsor for the Colt Eastwood channel. It has over 15 million downloads and nominated for Google Play's Best of 2019 User's Choice Award. Raid is an epic dark fantasy done right. A hero collection turn-based game with over 400 champions for you to collect and customize. You build up a team of orcs, knights, and more in factions across 13 unique locations, fully voice campaign, experience yourself or with friends, all for free. Huge updates in the game over the next 6 months, you'll have fresh content to play, weekly tournaments and events, arena battles, dungeons. As you level up, it nets you extra weekly prizes to pour into your heroes. As you learn and complete missions, you'll earn progression awards. You'll get the Legendary Arbiter for completing the opening missions, a new faction, tag team, arena, and a new boss you can fight with your clan. Add me and join my clan at Cold Eastwood. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on the special links, and you will get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program. Start your journey. Download Raid Shadow Legends. It's free. For several months, the PS5 dev kits have been in first party and third party developer hands as they target next generation games to run on the newest PlayStation in 2020. Midway through 2019, around the time of the E3 conference for Xbox, devs were claiming that the PS5 dev kit was more powerful than the Xbox Scarlet. The problem with this claim, other than it came from a couple of unnamed developers, was that Microsoft had not even shipped Scarlet dev kits to developers outside of Xbox Game Studios teams. Even some internal studios had not worked with the new console kit. Fans excited to claim that their favorite console will be the most powerful don't understand how devs work on new generation games. Typically, before dev kits are finalized and sent out to select studios, Microsoft or Sony will send out target specs to tailor their game for visuals, performance, and capability. In the case of the Xbox Project Scarlet, devs were using their own PC hardware targeting specs outlined by Microsoft. Dev kits only went out to a few devs and now to more exterior studios. Media outlets are getting reports that the PlayStation 5 dev kit is more powerful than the Xbox Scarlet dev kit. But more is happening under the hood than meets the eye. Developers are assuming that the PS5 dev kits are in a more advanced state than the Scarlet kit and there is much more to report than that. Microsoft is implementing DirectX solutions to next generation that hinge on advanced physics and ray tracing that may not be applied on current dev kits or the target specs. Remember that the definition of a dev kit varies from a PC set to Microsoft parameters to a true built dev kit from Microsoft meant to run all versions of Xbox, which brings us to the next curveball. The Xbox Scarlet dev kit specs are likely tuned for the rumored Xbox Lockhart build, a rumored and still possible second console model that houses the next generation Zen 2 processor and possibly an Xbox One X current gen GPU. This is the Lockhart affordable console that Phil Spencer and insiders have been hinting at to provide Xbox with a cost competitive console next to the next world's most powerful console. This way, devs can match frame rate and world building performance on Xbox at a bare minimum at the cost of less resolution or other visuals. This sets up the Xbox development to meet PS5 performance while leaving plenty of headroom for Xbox Scarlet or codename Anaconda to offer all of the PS5 and Lockhart plus more. Remember, the new Xbox Scarlet dev kit will likely be able to code for Xbox One Xbox Anaconda, and Xbox Lockhart. Dev kits are ever-changing, upgraded as they continue to roll out to bigger developers and more internal studios. This first iteration is nothing to go by in an official capacity to decide which final console will be, quote, the most powerful. What we do know is that if Xbox has continued to claim most powerful, Sony has attempted to claim the fastest console, but pulled all wording for that soon after. Both the PS5 and Xbox Scarlet will offer super fast loading and install times. 
fast 60 FPS and more game performance, and a wealth of games from dozens of studios. Both plan to be nearly fully backward compatible with this current generation. The Xbox is also bringing 600 plus legacy games from the Xbox original and Xbox 360 console forward to your new console. All of this for hopefully an affordable price as it seems to be pointing us towards the return to $400 for the new high-end consoles. Next generation will be kicking off officially with final news, names, and the launch of games planned as early as February 2020. But for now, we have a lot to be excited about with tons of games in all varieties, some of the generation's biggest games closing out this chapter, and more exciting games to anticipate in the next game-packed year. This is Colt Eastwood. Thank you so much for watching. A big thanks to my new channel sponsor, Raids Shadow Legends. And for all of you that watch, support, and have joined the channel and Patreon. People ask me often why I prefer the Xbox, and as a gamer that has owned the Xbox 360, the PS3, I own a PS4, and, and even gamed only on PC for half of this console generation, I can say I just prefer the ecosystem, the offerings across the whole platform over most others on Xbox. When Xbox isn't bringing big mature games like Uncharted, God of War, and Horizon Zero Dawn, which I hope they do and they need to, I end up playing those on my PS4 and jump back to the Xbox for the ease of experience on the Xbox One X. I cannot wait for next generation and I'll get a PS5 and an Xbox V day one. If you like this video or learned a few things, leave me a like and subscribe to the channel. Join the monthly membership to get early access to videos before they go live or the Patreon for those same benefits. Add me on Xbox Live and Twitter at Cold Eastwood and message me if you have any questions or just want to talk gaming. Have a great holiday for those celebrating Thanksgiving. And as always, holiday or not, be nice.